Hey, this is Rudy with Solid Plan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a flange directly to an OLED. So first things first is I'm going to create my my route here. It's going to be a four inch pipeline. Yes, that's fine. So once I click away, click in the graphic screen, it's gonna show me my four inch pipe. And then while I'm inside the edit sketch mode, you can see on your status bar down here, um, it says under define, but you can also tell that uh, you're in the edit sketch mode by this icon up here that says edge exit sketch mode. So you have to be in the third level, which is the edit sketch mode. What you wanna do next is go to component and then click OLED. Okay, it's going to put you back into um, sketch mode, uh, sorry, line, um, inserting a line mode. So you just want to add a, a long piece of um, pipe here. And then while you're here, you want to change this to the size of your nipple. So in my case, it's going to be a three quarter inch. Okay, you click on the graphic screen. And then you'll see that changes and then here it's going to ask you hey what uh, based on your pipe specification which OLED do you want to use I want to use the Bonnie forged weld OLED so I'll double click on that that inserts the component but also it it, it gives that three-quarter inch um, long nipple so what we want to do now is we're going to pre-select our end point at the end of that at the end of that pipe, we're gonna to go to component. We're gonna add a flange based on your pipe specification once again, but I'm gonna add a well neck flange, 300 pound RTJ, okay? So I'll double click on that component and then it adds that, it adds that flange. Now, so how to align this to the weld OLED? So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to routing and then you want to pre-select this sketch line and then you want to go to assign length, assign length. And then here you want to give it a value of zero. Now watch what happens when we hit apply. What happens is that it takes away, it takes away that, um, that pipe in between the weld OLED and the weld neck flange and it just leaves them uh, butted up to each other. So you want to exit out of this. And the best way to, uh, to know is um, you want to select that component and then go up here to select the part. And you'll see that the part is butted up right next to the weld OLED. You can do the same thing here. Select that part and there's no gap in between there. This is Rudy with Solopin. I hope you enjoy this video.